Hey what's up you guys, it's Spartan, and today we'll be showing you guys the best formations in Mount Blade 2 Banner War. So you can kind of notice here that it's Sturgia versus Sturgia, and I'm outnumbered by like 500 to 250, so I'm outnumbered 2 to 1. And um, this is realistic damage, and um, the same exact tier troops and everything, everything's completely equal besides I have archers. So I will be showing you guys basically the best strategy in both multiplayer and campaign on how to win every single game infantry and every Square single fight formation. so what you're going to want to do is put your infantry Forward. into the shield wall making um a square formation basically and you're going to put your archers. archers behind them a decent amount Forward. to cover both sides of them and their flanks and what i usually like to do is put them a little farther back Move. so they don't aggro anything and what's going to happen is here i can even put them up here and my shield wall up here um, so what you're going to want to do is put your archers as high elevated as possible and your shield wall as low elevated as possible so you can cover all sides. And what's going to happen is also make Stand sure to... Apart. No, not them. In a um, also make sure to put your archers, archers in a spread out formation. Loose formation. Alright, that should work. Put them a little more over here Forward. so they're not off the ledge. So um, the point of this is basically the archers are going to cover all sides of this besides the front and they're not going to get any friendly fire because the shields are also protecting the backs of these guys. So the infantry on their side is going to wrap around in a U shape around the shield wall and your archers are basically going to hit them from the side and from behind and basically just wipe them. So my archers are still a little close. So I'll move them back a little bit so they don't aggro. There you go. So this is 500 versus 250, which in any normal fight, this would be a complete disaster and just they would get wiped really quickly. So you can see they're starting to charge in now. And this is actually the best infantry. So um, Sturgeon infantry versus Sturgeon infantry. So you can just look at the top right and see how many kills the archers are getting. And also this square formation lasts the very longest. You can already see they're breaking too because of how fast they're dying. There you go, Harold, look at the kill feed. Look at that, just look how fast they are going now and how fast they are dying. Because um, when you do a shield formation like that, they just end up wrapping around like that and just getting completely destroyed. You can see all of them running for the hills. It's crazy. And I'm outnumbered by 250 soldiers. Here, I'll even have my guys charge in so they can wrap around. So every single one of them can shoot. Look at that, that's beautiful giant circle of backs and just wrapping around my infantry and my archers and my archers. Look at that pile of dead bodies. It's crazy. 500 versus 250. Use this in any single scenario. Like multiplayer, campaign, anything. Square formation of shields with archers that wrap around. It's just beautiful and works out so well. Like, look at that. This is the very best formation in the game. Very best strategy in the game. Just gotta make sure you protect your archers from uh, Cav. And there you go. They won. They're all running away. And this is a huge, huge pile of dead bodies. They're all enemy Sturgeons. So. 441 kills and only 117 deaths. So they went 4 kills per death with this strategy, which is just insane because it's supposed to be a one-to-one -one ratio because it's completely even. So if you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this and comment below what you thought of this video and what you want to see next time. See you guys.